First Nighter program, a copyrighted feature, Coast to Coast, presented by Campana, the makers of Solitaire, the new cake makeup, and Campana Cream Balm, the new hand lotion containing lanolin. Theater Time Broadway. There's a high pitch of excitement along the Great White Way tonight as theater goers eagerly await the opening of a new play at the Little Theater off Times Square. Dramatic critics and movie scouts will be in the audience. The sidewalks will be jammed with sightseers and photographers, so we better be on our way. It's just a short walk around the corner. Will you join me? Up Broadway and across 42nd Street, and then ahead of us are the lights of the Little Theater off Times Square. Well, here we are at the Little Theater off Times Square. <laughs> Have your tickets ready, please. Have your tickets ready, please. Good evening, Mr. First Matter. The usher will show you to your box. Thank you. We'll go right in. Well, it's another packed house tonight. We're lucky our reservations were made early. While everyone is eagerly awaiting the first curtain, let's see what the program says about this first night performance on the Great White Way. The play is entitled Just a Bum, and its author is Helen Norris. Our popular leading lady, Barbara Luddy, tops the all-star cast. Opposite Miss Luddy is her guest leading man, Hugh Studebaker. The play is pure fiction, of course, and does not refer to real people or to actual events. And now, just before first curtain, let's listen to Eric Sagerquist and his first night of orchestra. Penitentiary. Warden Cooper speaking. Yes, Tim. No trace of Lathrop, huh? Yeah, I made a big mistake in that man. No, it's my fault. I gave him too much liberty. Yeah, I'm going to question his cellmate now. Okay, Tim. Keep in touch with me. Bring in Mahoney, Steve. Sit down, Mahoney. You've been Lathrop's cellmate for some months, haven't you? More than a year, sir. What do you know about his plans for last night's escape? Well, he... He planned for over a year to pull it off. He wants to be someplace the 14th of January. The 14th? And this is the 11th. What do you say about it? Well, last year he says to me, he says, Shorty, a year from tonight I'll see him. I'll plan to make a break, he says, around the 10th. That'll give me four days to get there. Four days to get where? I don't know. I don't know nothing about him, really. He never talked about his past life? No, no, he was the close mouth of the guys I ever see. Never mentioned any names? Only in his sleep now and again. He'd mutter about Rose, little Rose. The ones he called out, Lucy, Lucy, that way. I see. Hmm. Now, well, that's all, Mahoney. He was one swell guy, Warden, late for Buzz. I hope it won't be too tough for him if, if they bring him back. Don't worry. They'll bring him back. Lay along, Clover. Ooh, boss. No kicking now. Well, this will be sore if I'm late with smoking tonight. Evening, bud. Well, who are you? Just a... Just a bum, boy. See, that new milk sure smells good. Got a pretty fine barn here, haven't you? Looks like you've enlarged it lately. I had it on last year. Someday I'm going to have the biggest dairy barn in the county. You don't say. Got a couple of good-looking cows there already. This one's thoroughbred. Isn't she a beauty? Huh? Yeah. Hey, mister, what's the matter? I got kind of dizzy. Feel empty inside. You aren't hungry, are you? Gosh, do you want some milk? Do you mind drinking out of a cat, Dick? No, no, I, I don't mind. Fill it up, boy. Yeah, thanks. Ah, wasn't anything ever so good as that. Here, have some more. Okay. Clover's got plenty to spare. Hey, 
Feel better? Yeah, I sure do. Feel a lot better. But you're, you're shaking, Thorne. Are you cold? Yeah, that wind's pretty bad. Looks like a blizzard's on the way. Hey, listen, boy. If, if, if I promised not to light a match, would you let me sleep in your barn tonight? Well, I, I don't know. I don't usually let... Oh, heck, I guess you can. Ah, thanks. Only stick close to the barn. Sure. You know how women folks are. Get scared easy. Yeah. Make yourself a bed in the hay, and in the morning I'll bring you something to eat. Yes, thanks, boy. I gotta hurry now. I'm taking my kid sister to a party tonight. But I'll be seeing you in the morning. So long, mister, and good luck. That you, Rose? Uh-huh. Goodness, it's gloomy in here. I like the lamp. Why, Mom, you've been crying. Never mind if I have. Look in the oven and see how the cornbread's doing. It's baked, and so are the apples. Where's Johnny? Still down at the barn. He's late with his milking. He would be with a party on tonight. And you're not ready, Mom. I'm not going. Not going? Why, Mom? Here's Johnny now. Help me dish up supper. For goodness sakes, Johnny, hurry up. You'll never be ready. Sit down quick and eat. Anything special keep you down at the barn, Johnny? What do you mean, special? Oh, don't stop to talk. The Allens will be here for us any minute. Mom says she isn't going, Johnny. Oh, sure she is. She likes parties. Not tonight, Johnny. I'd rather stay home. But you... You oughtn't to stay home alone. Suppose someone comes to the door. You'd be scared, wouldn't you? Scared? Land, no. Well, will you lock the door as soon as we're gone, then? And keep it locked, Mom. Silly, you'll make her scared talking like that. Will you excuse me, Mom? Is that all you're going to eat? Mm, run along. I'll do the dishes. Don't be pokey, Johnny. Hurry up. Mom, listen. There's a tramp down at the barn. A tramp, Johnny? Old fella. Must be over 50. White hair, all clipped, and dark glasses. White hair, over 50. You know, I saw him go into the barn while I was sitting by the window. Something about the way he walked. And it being the 14th of January. Oh, it isn't him. This guy's just a bum. But he's a pretty good sort for a tramp, and I couldn't turn him away in this storm. I wish no, I had. Don't you worry. I've handled tramps long before you were born. You go and get dressed. You, you're sure you're not afraid, Mom? I'm sure. Over 50. Just a bum. Poor old man. I'll just save some cornbread in case he does come up and ask for food. And the curtain comes down on the first act of tonight's play in the little theater off Times Square. Smoking in the outer lobby or downstairs, please. Have you noticed the solitaire cake makeup advertisements in the current issues of American Weekly, Mademoiselle, and especially in Life magazine? Yes, in the June 12th issue of Life is a picture of a pretty girl with a solitaire lovely complexion. Now, this summer, you too will want to be the girl he can't forget. The girl with a satin skin, solitaire complexion. Let him remember you dancing till three, your skin as creamy smooth as the gardenia in your hair. Let him remember you strolling in the park, your complexion as enchanting as the day itself, as soft as the summer rain. Yes, indeed, this summer, let solitaire make you unforgettably lovely with its radiant color tone, its fresh smoothness, its rich lanolin base that is good to your skin. And thanks to Solitaire, all of this bewitching beauty is yours safely because Solitaire's lanolin helps avoid skin dryness. With Solitaire, your makeup lasts for hours and hours, and tiny lines, freckles, and blemishes become your secret. So step up to your favorite cosmetic counter and ask for Solitaire cake makeup containing lanolin. It comes in six heavenly hues, and the most startling fact about Solitaire is the price. You get a big compact, three inches in diameter, of fine quality cake makeup for only 60 cents. If your dealer happens to be out of solitaire at the moment, he can get it quickly from his wholesaler. Pretty wave in your hair, dear. I do wish I could have a silk dress, though, for parties. I wish you could, Rose. I know. Honestly, Mom, I don't think you ought to stay here alone. 
Sadie Allen was telling me this afternoon there's a convict escaped from the pen. The police think he's around here somewhere. A convict? Don't, don't say anything to Johnny about it, Rose, or he won't go to the party. Oh, imagine being hunted down in a storm like this. Did you hear his name? Lathrop. Oh, dear, there's the Allen's car driving in, and Johnny's not ready. Who says I'm not? Gosh, Mama, I hate leaving you. They're honking for you. But not to go, Rose. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye. Have a good time. Oh, there, pal, just you and me. Curl up by the stove. We'll keep up the fire. It'll be cold when you get home. Lie down, pal. Nothing's wrong. How do you do, lady? Any scraps handy? Yes, I think so. Come in. You're shaking with the cold. I am kind of chilled. And hungry. <laughs> Powerful. Sit down here. Thanks, ma'am. This room seems like a chunk of heaven. I kept some food warm and the coffee's still hot. How do you like it? Strong and clear, ma'am. Strong and clear? Oh, help yourself the beans. Baked with salt pork. Cornbread and apples. Lady, this is a banquet. Is that your son I saw down at the barn? Yes, Johnny. He's only a boy, but he does the farm work besides going to school. He said I could sleep in the barn. No, he didn't usually let tramps in there. He thinks I'm a tramp. Aren't you? Lady, a tramp's a king beside of me. Free to roam the world. There's no strings tied to a tramp. You are Lathrop, then. The escaped convict. You asked me in, knowing who I was? What made you, lady? I don't know. Only I... I've been expecting someone home all day. That's so? My husband. It was just 12 years ago today he left. I can't get over the notion he's coming back. More coffee? Thank you. You see, he was young then, and he wanted city life. So he went away to earn piles of money for us. He knew we could get along with the farm. Tim must be rich now. He was smart as a whip. Smarter. And so handsome. Told you he'd come back rich, did he? Oh, he will, too. He'll come in a big car, most likely. Jim likes doing things the grand way. You suppose... Suppose he came back to looking like me. You don't know Jim. I dream how he'll fix up the house and put in electricity, maybe, so I can have a washing machine and a toaster. Have some cornbread. Thanks. I'm not going to forget all this. You're kind not to laugh at me. I don't talk much about Jim. The neighbors have said some ugly things because he don't come back. But someday they'll sit up and take notice. Well, he comes home rich, yeah? Sorry, but we got to go home. Go home? Where the party just started. I know, but Nick Barnes says there's a convict loose here in the neighborhood. I heard about him this afternoon. Well, why didn't you tell me? I did tell Mom, and she wouldn't let me. Don't be foolish, Johnny. They're all walking. Listen, Rose. There was a bomb came to the barn tonight. A man? And he's that jailbird, I'll bet. They say there's a thousand dollars reward up for him. A thousand? I've asked Nick to run us home. Don't tell him a thing. I'll slip out to the barn and capture that guy and get the reward. Oh, Johnny... Then I can have a silk dress. I'll go with you. Wait a minute. I'll get my coat. Jim was one for coming home from the store with a silk dress when what I needed was a sack of potatoes. But you couldn't scold him. He was that handsome and winning. He shouldn't have gone away. A man like that needs a woman like you. How have you done all these years? Real well. Johnny's a hard worker. He wants a good dairy more than anything. You've you got a girl, too? I thought I saw a girl leave with Johnny. That's Rose. She's like her father. Johnny's a steady one. I'm glad the boy's like you, Lucy. You know my name? You're not... You... Oh, Jim. Now, don't be afraid, dear. I'm sorry it slipped out. It's your hair. Turned white. And those glasses. Yes, you, you do look over 50, like Johnny said. And you're not 43. 
Well, man changes in the pen. But you, you haven't changed much, Lucy. You're still young looking. And pretty. How could I have left you? I wish I hadn't talked so foolish, Jim. No, no, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you kept your faith in me all these years. Because of you, I've kept my real name secret. I began making plans for this a year ago, Lucy. Making the pens something you have to plan for. Jim, quick. Someone's coming. Go in the front room. I'll hide these dishes. Well, why don't no, you... No, don't talk. Hurry. You all right, Mom? Any strange man been here? No, there's no strange man been here. Why are you home so early? Oh, he heard about that convict. He's mad because I didn't tell him before we left. But I didn't know there was a tramp in the bar. I told that bird he could stay all night. You let him be. But Mom, a fellow like that's desperate. Besides, there's a reward up for getting him. A thousand dollars. Hush, dear. You're all excited. And a thousand dollars means we could clear the West 40. We could buy another thoroughbred. And it's no dress for me. I'm going down now and padlock the barn You'll door. do no such thing. Most likely he's gone. But Mom, I can't muff a chance like that. Johnny, I said no. Go upstairs and forget that poor old tramp. What's the idea? Treat me like a baby. Go along to bed. I'll lock the door. That tramp probably headed land knows where by now. Good night, children. Oh, gee whiz. Jim. Oh, Jim. Ain't mine good, Lucy? Ah. Wish I could have seen little Rose. Here's an old coat of Johnny. Go down at the barn and get a good night's sleep, Jim. I'll be back in the morning, Lucy. No, no. Hide in the smokehouse till after the children have gone to school. Then we'll talk. I'll be up for breakfast, Lucy. Will you make some pancakes? <laughs> Have you wondered why your hands are losing their softness and smoothness this summer? Well, here's what happened. Extra work at home or in an office or war plan, together with frequent washing, all rob your hands of their natural oils, make them feel rough and chapped. And then, too, when your skin becomes dry, it loses its youthful appearance, takes on a hard, parched look. So all of this, mind you, is happening right now, primarily because of the loss of the natural oils of your skin. And what can you do about it? Well, the answer is easy. You can help to overcome skin dryness by using Campana Cream Balm containing lanolin. Scientists say that only lanolin most nearly duplicates the functions of the natural oils of the skin. So start now to use this new lotion with lanolin that helps avoid rough, dry, unlovely skin, no matter what kind of work you do, provided you use it regularly and especially each time after you wash your hands. Step up to your favorite cosmetic counter and insist on Campana Cream Balm containing lanolin. Lusciously creamy, instantly soothing, delightfully softening, and delicately fragrant. You'll recognize Campana Cream Balm by its yellow and white carton. Now, if your skin is extra dry, extra sensitive to work and washing, you'll want Campana's other famous lotion, original Campana Balm in the green and white carton. <laughs> a botch of that. Mom, you look all in. You were scared, weren't you? Not scared, Johnny. Did you find any signs of him down at the barn? No. He's too foxy. He's gone. If Mom would let me padlock that... I'll go, Rose. Oh. Good morning. Come in. Say, were you down at the barn all night? I sure was. Well, I expect this young lady's your sister, huh, boy? Pretty girl, too. But she don't favor you more... Must look like your daddy, huh? Is that any business of yours? Rose, don't be snippy. Stand up and let him see how tall you are. Oh, my. Do as I say. See, mister? Taller than I am and only 14. Listen, Mom. Uh, I'm going out to get some, some more wood. I'll be right back. Rose, huh? I remember seeing a baby once. Looks much like a little Rose or folks named her that. Really? Oh, I don't blame you for being stiffy with strangers, Rose. I kind of like that. Show spunk. Here, sit down. I've got some pancake batter mixed ready to cook. 
Pour him a cup of coffee, Rose. He takes it strong and clear. That is, most men his age do. Thanks, I do. I'm not awful hungry, though. I could just kind of feast my eyes on Rose here and have her think it'd be... Hot. All right, you. Johnny. Oh, a gun, huh? Pointed right at me. And loaded, mister. You move and you'll find out it's loaded for sure. Rose, run over to Johnson's and phone the sheriff. You'll do no such thing, Rose. And that gun, John. No, Mom, don't have a fit. I'm handling it. Give it to me. Thank you. Now, you two go upstairs and stay there. I want to talk to this man alone. But don't you know what this means? The reward? Do as I say. March. <laughs> Mighty smart youngster, Lucy. Rose, too. Glad you brought him up to mind. Jim, what are we to do? The police are hunting you. Yeah, and Johnny wants that thousand dollars. Put it back. He wouldn't if he knew who you were. Now, that's it. He mustn't know who I am. Promise you'll not tell him, Lucy. Promise me. Oh, Jim, don't... Maybe we haven't got long to talk. I, I want to tell you how it happened. It was two years after I left. I was, I was broke, and I drifted into a bad bunch. I bungled the first job they gave me. Got rattled, lost my nerve, and shot. I got 20 years for it. You should have finished him out and then come home for good. But you see, I, I got to counting up the years, Lucy. Figuring how old the children would be. I was afraid they'd be gone. I know, but... And I did want to see you. Jim, Jim, we can help you. I could keep you hidden there in the smokehouse for weeks. I'll tell the no, children... No, Lucy. And... Nothing like that. I don't come back to my kids like this. No, now, in a few minutes, I'll make a fuss. I'll tip over a chair or something so Johnny will come on down. No, Jim, please. But somebody will get that reward, dear. Let me have the pleasure of knowing who. I won't be lonesome back there. Not anymore. I'll have a lot to think about. How that West 40 will be cleared. Johnny with his new thoroughbred. Electricity in the house here. And you with that little toaster you hanker for. I kind of like Rose to have a new dress, too. Something soft and clingy. never treated me like this before. She didn't trust you with that gun, silly. If only she'd listen to me. We'd be in a thousand dollars. Johnny, look out the window. There's a state police car coming up the road. It stops at Johnson's. They'll be driving in here next. Listen, I'm going down there. Oh, what's that? Downstairs. Mom, she's getting desperate. Come on. Rose, I'll let the rope here. Grab it. That's right. Keep behind me when I open the door. He may fire. Mom, give me that gun. Johnny, don't shoot. I won't. Not if he does like I tell him. I'm taking no chances, lady. Kid's got me covered. But you wait, boy. Someday Not I'll get today, it. Mr. Convict. Put him up. You got the ropes, Rose? I'd burn down your barn if I Keep your you. mouth shut. And your chin up. Higher than that. Now, put your arms down tight against your sides. You yes. wind that rope around him, Rose. He won't touch you. That's it. Tight. <clears throat> oh, not like that. Here, Mom, hold this gun. I'll tie that knot myself. I'll get yours sometime for this. You bet I will. It's a registered cow for me, Mr. Convict. And what else? Oh, clearing some land and dress for Rose. A silk one? Sure, it'll be silk. There. Pretty good job, isn't it, Mom? Well, for Pete's sake. You women give me a pain. Scared of jailbirds one minute and wanting them to go free the next. That, that car is driving in, Johnny. Yeah, I thought it would. You answer the door, Mom. Oh, Johnny, Johnny. You better do as he says, lady. We'll get through this quicker. <clears throat> Morning, Mr. Mason. Have you seen... Well, what do you know? All tied up, ready for delivery. Who did this? This kid here. Got me cornered, stuck a gun against me, and here I am. So, Lathrop, a heartache like you gets caught by a boy. Yeah. Untie his arms, Johnny. I'll snap on these bracelets. <laughs> Peaceful as a lamb. You'll hear about this, Johnny. It means a thousand dollars for you. So how old are you? Sixteen. <laughs> Pretty good. Come along, Lathrop. I, I want to thank the lady here for a cup of coffee. It was like I like it. Strong and clear. And I want to thank you for... for not burning down our barn. I was easy on you, that's all. You... You'll get that silk dress for this young lady here, won't you? Oh, what's it to you? Oh, I don't know. I, 
like to think of pretty girls and pretty clothes. Thanks, Miss Mason. This isn't a social call, you know, Larry. Sure, sure, I know. So long, ma'am. Good luck to you. Gosh, that's what I call a good day's work. You nearly botched the whole thing, Mom, being nice to that bird. You have to handle convicts like you mean business. He wasn't my idea of a convict at all. He had a nice smile. You women. Just because he calls you pretty, you let him go. That guy was plenty tough. But he had tears in his eyes when he left. I saw them. Did you, Mom? Yes, Rose. I saw them. Well, my gosh, it's done now. Somebody would have got him. We're going to do a lot of things. Wonderful things with that reward. Yes, Johnny. Well, children, you better finish your breakfast. And the curtain falls on another performance in the little theater off Times Square. Miss Luddy and Mr. Studebaker are in front of the footlights. <laughs> Before we move out of the theater, let me invite you to be with us again next week at the same time when Barbara Luddy will be starred in another original play entitled Small Town Editor. Waste paper is a critical raw material. Be sure to save all kinds of paper and cardboard. Look in your basement and attic. Collect every piece of waste paper and cardboard and turn it over to the salvage group in your neighborhood. We move out of the theater and into the street. What do you say we stroll down Broadway? Good night, Mr. Presnary. Good night. The first nighter program is a copyrighted radio feature. Attention, men. Do you want your face to feel comfortable and well-groomed after shaving? Then try Dress Skin, spelled D-R-E-S-K-I-N, Campana's Aftershave Lotion. Dress Skin makes your face feel cool, refreshed, wide awake. Yes, sir, Dress Skin is again available at your favorite drugstore. Fifty cents and one dollar a bottle. This is Mutual. <laughs> 